Hey, what's up, y'all? Y'all know my slogan. I don't know it all, but I know what I've been through. Now, today, man, it's a worldwide celebration for all the trappers. Everybody that was speaking, free meats, free meats, free meats, free meats, BMF. Guess what? They got their wish, man. Um, As of Monday, a federal judge granted Black Mafia family member, which is BMF, co-founder Demetrius Big Meach Fleenery, an early release from prison. Now, keep in mind earlier this year, Meach's brother Southwest T, a.k.a. Terry Fleenery, was released on home confinement as part of a broader effort by officials to stem the spread of COVID-19. The two reportedly employed more than 500 people and distributed thousands of kilograms of cocaine in a drug ring that operated in cities and in 11 states, including Detroit, Atlanta, Miami, Los Angeles, St. Louis, and Birmingham, Alabama. Now it says they were arrested in 2005 along with more than 100 co-conspirators, which is kind of crazy, man. Um, For y'all that don't know, a conspiracy case is the worst case to catch. I don't care what nobody say. They say, um, mur of course, murder, all that, you know, attempted murder, all that. But conspiracy, right? Let me tell you how easy a conspiracy can get you caught up. You could literally, literally be in a picture with somebody that committed a crime and don't even know. And you could be tied to that crime. Or you could have a phone conversation, an innocent phone conversation with somebody that's wanted. And now you are considered a co-conspirator as well. Or um, I said a picture, um, a text message as well. All right. A text message could be used as uh, conspiring with somebody. Uh, a social media post Whatever the case may be If you next to a person and they feel Whatever y'all talking about Or however y'all even look You know warrants being In a commission of some type of crime Or if you just look like you're a part of every, anything You can be held On conspiracy charges And get this one thing about conspiracy charges right You could be held until they finish Their investigation that could be one year Two years three years four years Before you actually get to fight the case You are being held on conspiracy charges Until they got all their information And they're ready to gather you up And then y'all go back and forth in court Alright A conspiracy case is the worst If you know anybody that's doing anything Crazy and you know about it Stay away that's that's if you not in the streets If you in the streets and you doing whatever you doing Hey, so by all means, that's on you But if you living a square life You going to work, you minding your business You not in that life Right? And you don't want to see them pins Guess what? Stay away from any and everybody That you will, you feel is actually in the streets Now, it says According to Old Hip Hop Big Meech will likely be released in 2028 after U.S. District Judge David M. Lawson agreed to reduce his sentence from 360 months to 324 months. The 52-year-old was entitled to a reduction because of changes in sentencing guidelines since he was convicted for running one of the largest drug trafficking and money laundering rings in Detroit history. Now, I may explain it later. I'm going to just briefly tell you right now. I don't agree. I, I think... 2028 is still a long time the man that served <laughs> look it says from 360 months to 324 months right and he's only getting out in 2028 still got a long ways to go a lot can change by then uh bodily harm any natural disease anything can strike within that time so this is why i kind of i kind of think 2028 is still a long time but blessing blessings blessings and blessings that be Guess what? He's getting out a little earlier than he's supposed to. You see what I'm saying? And I know people going to be like, he did the crime. He should just do the time. We don't have no sympathy for any. Yes, I understand. But guess what? There's a such thing as giving somebody a second chance. And I say that all the time because let me tell you, I've been in the system. I know that that shock, what that shock value from being inside there can do to you. It can change somebody. Uh, um, you could take your worst person, the worst person. From the streets Put them in jail And if they do the right thing I guarantee you Almost guarantee you They're going to come home A changed man Look at all these killers That go inside there And come out And they come out Muslim Or they come out uh, 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 with, with a religion Or some type of discipline A lot of these people That commit these crimes Just didn't have the discipline man Or sometimes It's like It's sad to say right Because because a lot of people use, use it as an excuse But poverty A lot of these crimes That's committed 
is usually over money. And I always say this, poverty is a business. They know that. They know they can't give us money because the minute they give us money, we don't need to commit crimes. A lot of the, a lot of these crimes are being committed solely in, 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 on just on money purposes. Take away poverty, we won't need it. We don't worry about that. You see what I'm saying? But guess what? Poverty is a business. Poverty keep them jails um, going. Poverty keep them lawyers going. Poverty keeps um, 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 doctors. And why I say doctors, because guess what? Dudes in the hood shooting each other over money. Robbing each other over money. Poverty keeps the DA going. Poverty keeps the judges going. A lot of people don't understand how big poverty is. How much of a business poverty is. How much of a business it is to make sure a certain amount of people stay broke. Because if they're not broke, they're not committing crimes. If they're not committing crimes, we don't got no jobs. Lawyers, doctors, DAs, judges. The list go on and on. But anyway, that's a whole other story. Now, the article says this. Since his incarceration, Meech has earned his GED, underwent drug treatment, and completed classes. His lawyer, Brittany Barnett, stated in court filings. He also unveiled plans for a new program called Build More Families in the effort to rebrand BMF while simultaneously helping with community events, back-to-school drives, and basketball contests from behind bars. It says he has demonstrated a strong commitment to rehabilitation during his incarceration, Barnett wrote. Mr. Fleenery, who has not been convicted of a crime of violence, does not have an assaultive or violent criminal record. And that's another thing that killed me, man. This man got the same amount of time as someone did that caught a body that, that did murder. Do you understand? Uh, uh, um, a non-violent crime, but still got um, as much time as a person with a very violent crime and even then you got some guys that are getting off on bodies that's the thing that's killing me in this case man this there's a lot of flaws in this case and i purposely think he was just targeted of course of course we know this his brother came out earlier this year but they told they told him he can't come out why they say oh due to you know um disorderly conduct you know he's a high profile guy man anywhere he go people are going to go crazy and i think honestly they were just pinning things on him i don't really think that he was really in there you know with all this influence telling people to do this no it's just his character his persona the the the, the, the energy he give off that people probably just want to do that because he he is who he is he's like the hood folklore like I was saying earlier, man, I think 2028 release is still a long time, but that's just me. But one thing I can say, when you inside prison, it don't matter if they tell you that you're coming home a week before your CR date. You are happy as ever and you willing to take that. You don't care. Now, for all y'all that don't know, a day in jail could feel like a whole week. A week could feel like a whole month and so forth and so forth. Y'all get where I'm going. And like I said, I always found this case interesting because I think that they really targeted Meech, of course, more than anything because of his high profile status he had in the streets. Plus, you got to remember, he irritated the law a lot. And I'm not going to get too far in the case, but they literally, they literally didn't have anything on this man up until his brother slipped up and did the talking on wiretaps, phone calls, and certain circumstances just made sense that Meech was a... Uh, uh, a suspect and was a part of some once they put two and two together you see what i'm saying it just made sense it's not like they actually had him and pinned him to something they had his brother but they put two and two together and i gotta remember man um <laughs> meech was very low just like a boy should move he didn't believe in talking on phones and all that the only thing i didn't agree with was the loudness that he possessed the whole well not him but the whole bmf but he was a leader so you know i correlate him but other than that, this man, he, people, his own peoples, right, that was around him all the time, didn't even know where some of his other houses were. Yes, they had a headquarters, but his house, they didn't know where that was. He wasn't talking on the phones. They couldn't get this man on wiretaps. So, you know, 
Like I said, these men were loud though, man. Um, these guys was living way better than your favorite rappers with nothing legit to show for it when the cops went back and tried to, you know, search for something. You see what I'm saying? Because they did have a record label. Meech had a record label. He started, right? The same label that housed Blue Da Vinci and Young Jeezy at one point. However, the label didn't add up to, to the amount of money and lavish spending that these guys were doing. Like, these guys literally had billboards up in Atlanta. And a lot of people don't even know that these guys were originally from Detroit and migrated to Atlanta. But they took over so strong that everybody thought they were from there. But Meech was feeding people so good and making sure business was so strict that no one felt the need to really hate or do any harm. Because it's like, yo, this man feeding us. What can, what, what should we do? And he got an army behind him. <laughs> Matter of fact, right? Uh, outside of that situation where Diddy Bodyguard was killed. And I think Meech was shot in the parking lot. Other than that, it wasn't really nothing, man. Uh, he believed that money and violence just don't mix. And I believe the same thing. You can't get money and want to be a shooter. Eventually, one of the two is going to catch up to you in a negative way. And it's usually the shooting part because karma don't miss a beat. I don't care who you are, what you did in the streets. You going to pay for what, whatever it is you're doing in the street. Come on, that's just, that's law. That's why I tell everybody, keep your karma clean, man. And for you young dudes, right? I'm going to end it like this. Please, please, please pay attention. I know that get money route is cool for the time being because you see the money, you see the girls, you see the cars. But guess what? It's not worth it. Trust me. I was on the wrong end of the law. All right. So I'm going to tell you like this. One thing I realized and I peep, right? All these street dudes, right? They made a ton of money. But when you do the mass... Um, I said the math, my fault. When you do the math, most of them have a lifespan in the street of balling for like two to four years, right? Maybe five, right? But guess what? When that judge tell you 15 or 25 to life or even 40 years, yeah, y'all know them football numbers, right? It don't add up. Because you're going to get them guys 20 years of your life behind bars and you only was balling out for two to five years. Come on, man. Even if you have a 10-year run, it does not make sense because it does not add up. Trust me, that money will blind you. It will have you thinking you are just a man, you are untouchable, and you will never get caught. So y'all got to be wise, man. I know it's going to be a lot of y'all that... <laughs> You know, y'all not going to get it because they say some people get it with a brick and some people get it with a feather. So some of y'all are going to have to go through it on your own to find out because I know a lot of y'all feel like y'all got life figured out. And that's cool. But for the ones that enjoy not having to look over their shoulder, you enjoy raising your kids the right way and being a real provider for your family. You enjoy growing old with your family. You, you enjoy being there, not around other men 24-7. Having the luxury to do what you want, guess what? I'm talking to y'all. Alright, so I'm gonna leave that there, man. Um, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Hit that bell so you're notified every time we drop new content. Uh, y'all let me y'all let me know how y'all feel about this, man. Is is his um release date still a little excessive? Should they make it a little closer? Or do we just deserve the time and he need to sit in there and, and, and come out whenever? Y'all gotta remember he already did, I think, 30 or something years already. 20, 30 some years. But come on, man. Um, these are situations that your average person will crack in. So you gotta applaud him for that too. His integrity, his loyalty, his morals, his principles. Alright, man. So like I said, y'all don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Hit that bell so you're notified every time we drop new content. And remember, as long as you keep on watching, I'ma keep on dropping. I'm out.